let's look at unreleased T. Unreleased T. Now T, we can make the um, sound, and it sounds kind of hard, but yet when we have it at the end of our single syllable words and at many of our other words, the T is a little bit softer in coming out. So we're gonna like let our tongue just move just enough to just let it out. And so we will look at the examples with uh, short vowels on top of the rows and the bottom row will be long vowels. So here are our samples. Cat, flat, hat, bet, get, pet, bit, hit, mitt, cot, hot, rot, butt, cut, mutt. And the long vowels, um, date, fate, gate, beat, feet, neat, fight, might, right, note, tote, vote. Now I want you to notice that it's not strong coming out. You heard them, but they're unreleased in that they're not strong, like tote, tote. Tote sounds stronger at the beginning than at the end, that T sound. And it should be unreleased and ready to go into the next word. Now also, in many times with the letter T, we'll do a glottal stop and we will even omit the sound of T if it blends into the next word. And that's a whole separate lesson I've presented before and you'll be able to access that if you need to. But yet the letter T at the end of the word will be soft and unreleased and as compared to um, T's at the beginning of words. All right.